Hey guys, Carla here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be test fitting our Thule Upright bike rack on this 2019 Ford Expedition Max. So this bike rack is going to offer a solution for those of you who have a really nice bike. Uh, you don't want any frame contact. As you can see, this bike rack is held on by the tires and uh, as well as if you're already using your hitch for something else like pulling a camper or you've got an, a cargo carrier or something else over there you want to free up your hitch, this is going to offer a solution to get your bike up there. If you've got a really nice bike like carbon fiber bike, you maybe don't want to put it on the back because you're afraid someone's going to hit you, you want to you know, leave it up, this is a great solution for that. So we're going to go ahead and show you a little bit about it. Now I do want to mention this, this is a particularly tall car so if you want to pick up one of these door steps I highly recommend them so you can get up there and make it easier to load up your bike. So as you can see this is a closer look at what our bike is going to look like once it's attached. We have the rear hook and the front hook. This is no tools required to uh, install this on your car or use it so it's it's great that everything is built in the self ratcheting and uh, all the mechanisms that are built in. Now you can use this rack with either the T slots or you have, uh, it also comes with the attachment to clamp around the bar if your crossbar does not have those. We are using the Inno crossbars which do have them so that's how we have it attached today. There are also attachments that you can use where you could wrap around the whole bar. So if, you don't, if your bars don't have a T-track then um, you can pretty much use them on any kind of bar with the other attachment. What I like about this rack the most is the fact that you don't have to take the front wheel off of your bike. You can simply throw your bike up here and not have to worry about removing it or where you're going to store it later on. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at how this bike rack interacts with your vehicle. So I'll go ahead and take this bike off now. So to remove your bike, the first thing you want to do is remove this rear ratcheting strap by pressing down and removing it like that. Once you've got that out of the way, we'll move to the front. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and press down on this mechanism to release the pressure like that. We're going to go ahead and pull it back a little bit. Make sure you hold on to your bike and use this lever to release the mechanism up there so you can go ahead and get this down. All right, so once we have this hooked down, all we want to do is roll it back and get our bike down. So I'll go ahead and move this back to the original position to show you kind of the steps that you would take to put your bike on here. The nice thing about this rack is that Thule has labeled each one of these so you really can't go wrong. It tells you which one to do first. So before we get our bike on here when you are, uh, before you throw it up here, what you want to do is adjust this hook to your wheel diameter. Now it's going to be labeled right in here for to make it a lot easier for you. So if you've got a 29 inch wheel then you'll go ahead and select that. Once that's in place you'll throw it up here, slide this forward. As you can see it'll stop right here and that's going to be to help you out when you're loading your bike so you can have one hand free that's going to hold it up there for you while you do the second hook right here. This one's labeled number two. And as it, say, it says right here, raise second to secure wheel. So you'll raise it up. And what you want to do is make sure that there's a mechanism right here that's going to catch and click into place. Just like that. That's when you know that it's secured. Now this will secure to the back of your tire, making sure that it's nice and uh, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, one nice feature I wanted to point out is once you have it secured by hand like this, you want to use this lever right here to ratchet it down as far as it'll go, just like that. All right, so once you have the front secured, all you need to do is secure your rear tire by using this ratcheting strap. And again, you can tighten it just like that. All right, so back here, I did want to show you we do have an integrated lock. Um, you can use the Thule locks so that you can key them alike to any other Thule accessories you have. It does come with just this mechanism so I'll use a penny to demonstrate. I'll unlock it. 
and then that whole thing comes out and you can use it to lock around your bike frame and lock it into itself right here. Turn this key and now we have it locked. All right, so once you have your T-bolt in place, all you have to do to tighten it down is turn this lever and push down on it. Now I have it too tight, so I'll turn back a little bit and, and there you go. So after these two are tightened all the way, it's gonna be nice and secure, so I'll go ahead and give it a little shake so you can see it's not gonna go anywhere and even the car's moving. So on our expedition, we have plenty of room along the rail. Right now, we have it set right at about 40 and a half inches. So I'll show you a couple more measurements. Uh, to get this down in the folded position, you're gonna wanna release the tension with this lever. That'll allow this to go down. We'll fold this one down and all the way back. So you're probably wondering, how much is this gonna add? Can I drive this into my garage with it on? That's the nice thing about these uh, roof mounted, this roof mounted bike rack is the fact that you don't really have a lot of length added to your car. You can leave it on here. If you don't have your bike on here, it's not very heavy. It's definitely between 15 and 20 pounds, so a very lightweight as well. From the top of your crossbar to the highest point on our rack, that's going to be adding approximately four and a quarter inches, so not very much at all. Uh, but with that said, that should be everything you need to know about the Thule Upright bike rack on our 2019 Ford Expedition Max. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. 